I'm going to show you how to make one of the panels from the Cost of Freedom Remembrance quilt from Creative Kiwi. For this I'm going to be using a 5x7 hoop, two layers of no-show mesh stabiliser, you can use cutaway if you prefer, a selection of threads, one with a matching bobbin, uh, uh, my black one's got a matching bobbin, some pins with heads on them, some masking tape, my squizzers and my fabrics and batting cut to size. You'll find a link to this design in the video description below along with links to my videos on how to add window sashing to your quilt and how to bind it afterwards. You're going to start off by hooping your two layers of no-show mesh stabiliser. You can use cutaway as well if you want but don't use tear away. It's not going to stand up to the stitching. And then we're going to pin around the top edge of our hoop. So take your pin, place it on the inside hoop, push it through and bring it back round and through the stabiliser again and that will anchor it and stop it being pulled down from between the two hoop pieces and you're going to do that on all four sides the larger your hoop the more pins you will use load your chosen file into your machine I'm going to do file B along with your thread colour for the quilting of the sky and then you're going to stitch round number one and that's going to give you a placing outline for your batting. Place your batting over the outline and tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number two to secure it and it's also going to give you your, your fabric placement lines as well. the excess batting from around the edge of the stitch line taking care not to cut your stitches we're now going to place our sky fabric over this area here now when you align this you want your fabric to be touching the top here so that you've got plenty of seam allowance all the way around and then you're going to tape it in place. Making sure that you've got your thread colour for the quilting of the sky loaded into your machine, you're now going to stitch round number three and that's going to secure the fabric and then quilt it. Before we start adding any more fabrics we're just going to trim up these jump stitches here. It's been done like this so that every time it jumps you don't get a lump that could show through underneath the um, fill stitches. So we're going to trim those up. We're now going to place our second fabric and the second fabric is going to eventually cover this area here. Take your fabric, place it face down and you want this edge here, this side of this stitch line and line up your fabric as best you can with the other one as well because you want as much border uh, to your panel for trimming down afterwards. Once you've positioned it you can then tape it in place. I'm still running with my yellow thread at the moment so that you can see what I'm doing. We're now going to pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number four and that's going to secure it in place. Trim away the excess fabric from here leaving about a quarter of an inch seam allowance but you want to keep the fabric on the side so I'm just going to cut up there like that and up the other side as well. That way when this is folds over I've got I've still got plenty of fabric here. And then we're going to remove I'm going to turn this on the side so I can see what I'm doing. 
remove the excess. Then you're going to pull this down, finger press it, and tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number five, and that's going to secure these three edges. You're now going to add your third fabric, and that's going to cover this area here eventually. Same thing as last time, place your fabric face down with this edge here, this side of this stitch line, and centre it with your other fabrics as well. Take it in place, then pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number six, and that's going to secure it. Again, trimming up the sides here to preserve as much as the edge as possible. I'm going to make our two cuts and then trim off the excess leaving a quarter of an inch. Pull your fabric down, finger crease it and then tape your fabric in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number seven and that's going to secure the other three edges. We're going to do the same again for our third fabric. Place it face down, centre it to the others with this edge here, this side of this stitch line here and secure it. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number eight to secure it. Once again, do our two cuts up the side and then trim off the excess, leaving a quarter of an inch. Pull your fabric down. And I'm going to pin this one because it's slightly longer than the other two. Make sure you keep your pins right out of the way of the stitch line. I'm putting mine hard up against the hoop. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number nine. And that's going to secure the three edges. Load your thread colour for the quilting in this area here into your machine and then stitch round number 10. I'm using a light brown and I'm going to be using that for all three of mine but you can change it if you wanted to for each fabric. Load your thread colour for the quilting of this area here into your machine and then stitch round number 11. Load your thread colour for the quilting in this area here into your machine and then stitch round number 12. So that's the base of your panel finished and every single panel is stitched in exactly the same way. The only thing that's going to change are the elements either in the sky or on the ground. Load your thread colour for um, the sky elements into your machine. I'm using black. I'm also using a matching bobbin. I don't like using a high contrast bobbin and top thread because sometimes you can see um, see it uh, show through. So I prefer to use a matching bobbin and thread for when I'm doing fills like this. And then you're going to pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number 13. And that's going to do in on this panel, it will be the parachute. Not every panel has got something in the sky, so you might be stitching directly onto the ground. But for this panel, we're now going to stitch round number 13. Load your matching bobbin and thread colour for the silhouette of the soldiers into your machine and then stitch round number 14. And that's your panel finished and you can free it from the hoop.
I have put two links for you in the video description below. The first is my new video on how to add window pane sashing to a project and I show you how to do it by making a bag with my poppy block freebie and the other is how to add bias binding to your quilt or runner so do take the time to have a look as I think you'll find them both very informative. What do you think of my remembrance quilt? Leave me a message in the comments below. I love hearing from you. I hope you enjoyed this stitch along. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and check the notification box in your settings to be notified of new videos as soon as I publish them. Do pop along to Creative Kiwi's Facebook group. There's always lots of help, inspiration and a place to share all of your Creative Kiwi makes. And thank you very much for joining me. You'll find a link to this design in the video description below along with lots of other information such as where I get my supplies and some discount codes for you as well.